Nataliism, Wikipedia article audio. Nataliism is a belief that promotes human reproduction. The term is taken from the Latin adjective form for birth, Natalis. Nataliism promotes childbearing and parenthood as desirable for social reasons and to ensure the continuance of humanity. Nataliism in public policy typically seeks to create financial and social incentives for populations to reproduce, such as providing tax incentives that reward having and supporting children. Adherents of more stringent takes on Nataliism may seek to limit access to abortion and contraception, as well. Philosophy Motives Religion Intention to have children Natalistic politics Antinataliism The level of Nataliism varies between individuals. One extreme end of the spectrum of views presents Nataliism as a life stance and holds Nataliism as of ultimate importance. Philosophic motivations for Nataliism may include that of considering value in bringing potential future persons into existence. Many religions and some branches of Christianity, including the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints and the Catholic Church, encourage procreation. The Amish are among the fastest growing populations in the world, with an average of 6.8 children per family. A recent movement among conservative Protestants, known as the Quiverful Movement, advocates for large families. Some scholars note that Quiverful resembles other world-denying fundamentalist movements which grow through internal reproduction and membership retention such as Herdy Judaism, the Amish, Laestadianism in Finland and Sweden and the Salaf movement in the Muslim world. Many such groups grow relative to other categories, as seculars and moderates may have by contrast transitioned as far as below replacement fertility, in certain groups. An intention to have children is a substantial fertility factor in actually ending up doing so but childless individuals who intend to have children immediately or within two or three years are generally more likely to succeed than those who intend to have children in the long term. There are many determinants of the intention to have children, including Some countries with population decline offer incentives to the people to have large families as a means of national efforts to reverse declining populations. Incentives may include a one-time baby bonus, or ongoing child benefit payments or tax reductions. Some impose penalties or taxes on those with fewer children. Some nations, such as Japan, Singapore, South Korea, and Taiwan, have implemented, or tried to implement, interventionist nautilist policies creating incentives for larger families among native stock. Immigrants are generally not part of Nautilist policies. Paid maternity and paternity leave policies can also be used as an incentive. For example, Sweden has generous parental leave wherein parents are entitled to share 16 months paid leave per child, the cost divided between both employer and state. Books advocating Nautilist policies include What to Expect When No One's Expecting by Jonathan V. Last. Antinataliism is a philosophical position that assigns a negative value to birth. Antinatalists argue that people should refrain from procreation because it is immoral. In scholarly and in literary writings, various ethical foundations have been adduced for antinataliism. The first mentions that it would be better not to be born comes from ancient Greece. The term antinataliism was used probably for the first time as the name of the position by Théophile de Giroux in his book L'Art de Guillotiner les Procréateurs, Manifest Antinatalist. The mother's preference of family size, which influences that of the children through early adulthood. 
Likewise, the extended family influences fertility intentions, with increased number of nephews and nieces increasing the preferred number of children, social pressure from kin and friends to have another child, social support. However, a study from West Germany came to the result that both men receiving no support at all and receiving support from many different people have a lower probability of intending to have another child, with the latter probably related to coordination problems, happiness, with happier people tending to want more children, secure housing situation.